<laughs> the insane bot spam. Uh, that audio hazard is from... If you do exclamation mark, uh, such a garbage, I think, is the command. I really need to fix the, the bot, dude. <laughs> Just like spamming the chat. <laughs> Yeah, at least I'm getting the, you know, getting the numbers up, dude. Inflating those chat numbers. It's funny, I actually don't even know what I did wrong right there. I guess I, uh, I jumped too late or something. Does it take eight minutes to get there, dude? Maybe, maybe we should. I'm kind of concerned about this run. It, it, this run is very complicated and uh, I'm, I don't feel great about it actually right now. We should maybe just do a full run through. This is why we don't kill the Knight's Cavalry anymore on, on most runs, but I, I kind of have to on this one. But he's just such a pain in the ass to deal with, dude. No, I, I didn't do it yet, Jens, because I don't know. I don't know why I haven't done it. I probably should. I believe it took it takes nine minutes to get to that point and I just die. It'd be kinda nice if um we didn't have to kill the Knight's Cavalry, but I'm I'm fairly certain we do. Yeah, maybe... What do you guys think? Should we just do another full run-through? Because when we were routing before... Um... Like, we were kind of just testing out boss kills for the most part. It wasn't really a good route that we came up with. Any news about some DLC? I don't think so. Um... Apparently they like sort of hinted at it or uh, about, you know, adding more Elden Ring content at the Game Wards is what I've heard. Yeah, let's just do a, let's just do a no reset run here, you guys, I think. This is definitely a run that we should get first try when we, when we do it or, you know, once we get somewhere. Let's just do a let's just do a run through first. We're not in any rush to get this run, I guess. How's it going, Ricky? By the way, yeah. Let's just um, let's just do let's just do a no reset. And maybe I'll just get it. I don't know. The thing with this run is like so we did incantations, right? And and the thing with that run is um I was already familiar with the setup on the run. I was already like I'd already done it all before. And it's also just there's a lot less stuff to know when you're doing incantations, I think. Or maybe it's just because I've already done all those that all those running sections before that I didn't have to learn anything really new. But for this, it's all kind of brand new stuff, right? We're going to get a lot of spells that I've never used before. We're getting... Um, yeah, just a setup that I haven't done before, so it's... It's going to take a little bit longer to get, I think. Let's go on, Budbuck. Jen. 
JD, welcome back. Yeah, when I did incantations, I actually didn't even use Black Flame at all. You didn't need it anywhere. I think it's useful for for certain things. Um, maybe for all remembrances, I would use it if I was doing incantation, which I think I actually will at some point. But yeah, there's nowhere to use it on any, any percent. God run three in a month. Well, in terms of, well, I, I think when I actually start going for it, it probably will take less than a month, but it's going to be the, the preparation that's going to take a, a while, right? This run is really cool though. I, I, this is actually, I mean, we haven't even done it yet and this is already one of my favorite runs. Maybe I'll even like this more than incantations because the bosses are trivialized to just it's an insane degree. Definitely the easiest boss fights out of any run we've done. But that being said, they're easy. Um, they're easy, but they still require a high amount of precision because if just the setup we're doing for each boss is precise, right? Hello? Black Flame Blade. Can you hear me? Yeah, if they made that last a bit longer, it'd actually be really solid. I'm, not, I'm actually not sure why I just got this. We don't need it. Playing Armored Core. I've never played any of them before. I don't really plan on playing the, the new one. But. Yeah, we've got a strat. It's the same strat that other... People who did sorcery use with meteorite. It's just it's just about getting the right positioning. But it's really not too bad. It's not too bad. I must just continued playing on on our DLC preparation character today. Especially after yesterday's stream of total. Tom foolery, dude. Yeah, surely the DLC will come out. But it's more, it's, it's, I guess it's more just a, a second full playthrough, right? Or a 100% playthrough. Trying to do everything I possibly can in the game. I do need to update the run list. Yeah, I haven't uh, done that. There's actually a lot of runs I need to highlight too for the bet. Yeah, hydrate the elevators, dude. And Eiffel Tower the bosses, right? That was so funny that she explained to me what that meant. Oh, that was kind of weird. What's up, Brett? Thanks, dude. How's it going? Uh, is it Michael? What's up, dude? Welcome in. Yeah, I don't I don't understand the hydrating the lift thing. Yeah, I don't understand it either. Alright, surely this time the Knight's Cavalry cheese will work, dude. I hate this cheese. I think it's fine for a casual playthrough because you're not if you if it fails, you just simply walk back here. But on no hit it's not very fun. You shitter. Oh, 
Oh, wow. That was uh, pretty fast. Not really how that normally goes, but... Yo, uh, Hiata, thanks so much, dude. Welcome in. What's up, Salide? And Sparky, welcome back. Yeah, that was nice RNG, I guess. I still, I guess I don't know the best way to do that because I'm fairly certain we used to do that on every single run, right? We used to kill that guy on every single run I did. And it used to work very consistently where you just walk into the spot and he'll, you know, walk up to the ledge and do the stuff and then jump off. But I think ever since maybe 104, it doesn't work. Maybe I'm just, I, I don't know. It's possible that they didn't change it at all. And I'm just noticing something that's not real. But I seem to remember... I think it was 104 where it started to just not work the same. And now... Yeah, and now it sucks to do. And I, I don't know if it's some sort of pathing change that they made where... Maybe they did it unintentionally too if there is a change, but... I think he used to try to walk towards you if, if he was on the one side of the bridge on the, the side where he jumps off and you were in the in the corner he wouldn't try to run around the bridge or at, at least i don't remember him doing that um i need stone sword keys so i might as well go pick up this one What's up, Zimmer? Oh, the cook is great, dude. <laughs> yeah, we've got a we've there's a this is a monumental setup run, dude. It's it's gigantic. Welcome back, his ass. So let's go ahead and, uh, what do we need to do? Let's get the beast torch and then we'll go get, okay. Yeah. And then we go get rock sling. Yeah. This is good that we're doing this run. We're just going to do a, we're, let's just do a no reset. How's it going, by the way, uh, Hoblia? Uh, what's up, Trapa Canoe? Trapa Canoe, dude. Smithing Stone runs do plus 12 through Morgoth? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so with smithing stone weapons, it's a little bit, um, it's definitely not as simple of an early game as doing, like, somber weapons, right? Because you're not getting the plus nine. But at the same time, you don't really need a plus nine. And getting plus 12 is definitely faster than getting plus nine. I have used Night Resolve, yeah. On, on my first no hit run, when that exploit was still in the game with Night Resolve in your offhand, uh, buffing your main hand weapon, I used it all the time. But I don't think I've really used it since then, though. Yeah, Night Resolve on the fist is apparently, on like the Star Fist or the Iron Balls, is insane, apparently. How long do I expect this run to take? In terms of the in-game time, probably at least 2.30. Probably more like 2.40. Oh, true. Yeah, I guess I did use it on right card. 
But again, it was still sort of the exploit. I haven't really used it as it's <laughs> intended to be used yet. So what we're going to do, it's a barrier. Uh, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to go to... So so we can cheese the tree sentinel on this run very easily, which is really cool. So we're going to go down. We're going to get Rock Sling, the Meteorite Staff. And that's kind of our early game staff. We'll get Night Comet as well, I think. Like, I, I might as well open up the Nox Duo fight because we're going to... Like, lose that staff is the, is the primary staff, right? I don't actually need this, I don't think. Um, yeah, Lusats is the main staff. So we kill Nox Duo with Night Comet. I was not at the Game Awards, but I did... Um, actually, you know what? I didn't even really watch it. I was watching a hockey game, and then... I had the Game Awards on my phone. I'm pretty sure. But I didn't... I wasn't actually watching, because I was watching the hockey game. I'm really excited to do this run. This, I, Like I was saying earlier, this is already one of my favorite runs and we haven't even done it yet. <laughs> so. Probably shouldn't have rested. But it's fine. We can go back to round table and, and buy the stuff we need. Actually, okay. I can take gathering at my hand. Yeah, I wonder if one day they would ever consider... Uh, so obviously, when, when Sekiro came out and when Elden Ring was coming out, they invited a lot of the the top content creators for Souls games, like Vati and, and Lobos and I don't know who else. They, like from software or Bandai, brought them out to Japan to, to test the games out. I wonder if I one day I'll ever... Uh, I'm going to get the bow just to aim stuff. I wonder if one day, dude, they're going to... They're going to notice me and, and and offer that. That'd be insane. I don't know if I would go. That'd be just really cool to get offered that. But no, it's it's not it's not really to I, I guess testing isn't the right word. It's more just um to demo the game. Give them an early look, I guess. I don't know why. Like I don't think they were or maybe they were taking feedback. I, I don't know. I wasn't there, so. It's <laughs> currently the best Souls player. Yeah, because I won Souls Guesser. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go in Quavity. Yeah, that sounds great, dude. So, we want to get the staff. Okay, that's good. Nice. Maybe I should have got the meteorite staff before this. Uh, Polonium, thanks for the three month prime sub, dude. I just think I can make this jump. Is this guy a bowman? Yeah, he is. And Dan, thanks for giving the sub to Moses. Thanks so much, Dan. So this is the, um, the Night Comet one. I really do not know. See, this is why we need to do this test run, because... Ooh. 
Nobody's here. Interesting. Okay. Um, let me just... Oh, oops. Let me just check something. Burger King dude around there? You think so? I don't really understand that part, but I guess we're gonna learn it as we go. <laughs> What's up, Opai? Uh, it must be in this one, right? Yeah, I think there's just a lot of timing stuff there with that area, and probably if you just do the same thing every time, it'll it's fine. So, so we got the stuff. Um, the plan now is to... I can't wield this yet, apparently. Oh, actually, I guess we need to go get the other medallion first. What's up, synthesized? Yeah, we need to go get the other medallion. Half. I guess I'll level up some in intelligence as well. Might as well equip Rock Sling. We don't actually need it here, but maybe I'll use it on that Knight. Or wait, Knight comma is 38 int. How much can I get to at this point? Oh. No way, dude. Okay, wait a second. So maybe we... Maybe we... Go here first. Let's go here first. Yeah, I, I do want Bloody Slash. Yeah, so I want to use Night Comet on that enemy, I think. But maybe I don't need it, I guess. See, there's just a lot to there's a lot to remember on this route, I think. Magic spell that increases damage, like the Terra Magica you're saying? Yeah, I mean we kill Duo Crystallion specifically to get that, so I don't think I'll forget it. It's a panda boy. It is snow outside, yeah. Lose the challenge? I didn't, but I had another incentive to get it with a like a sponsorship, and people met the goal. So, what do I have, Gilika? Uh, to get ritual sword talisman. Yeah, this is the raid one, Meander. Yeah. Most overpowered sorcery. Um. I I think it's probably. I don't know. I think it's probably common azure, and it's because. I don't know, actually.
Yeah, Night Comet's definitely right there. I was just thinking Comet Azur because with, with Comet Azur, where it's effective, you, you simply don't have to know anything. Like, you just... You just blast the boss and you don't you like you don't have to know anything but when you're using night comet you know you're probably still gonna have to do something right i could be wrong maybe maybe that's not true but and and that, like that being said i don't, I don't think comet Azure overall would be like if you were to pick one sorcery to go through the game with you obviously wouldn't pick comet Azure, right that'd be really hard to do you would easily pick Night Comet or Carrion Slicer or something like that. But yeah, so I, I don't know. I think Comet Azure allows you to trivialize the most stuff, but it's also not good on everything. Why is Moonveil and Dark Moon Sword? I don't know. Overpowered melee weapon. Hmm. I don't know if there's really a brain dead melee weapon, to be honest, because. In order to use a melee weapon effectively, you have to be able to fight bosses. Yeah, it's probably fists. Uh, fists, I, I think fists, at least from what I've seen, fists have the highest damage potential in the game. Just the highest DPS. It's, it's, it's the fist, to be honest. But I'm just thinking Serpent Hunter could be there just because it's good on, like, Rykard. And there's no other weapon that's as good on Rykard as a Serpent Hunter, so... But then it's also going to everything else. But I, I would easily say fists. Like fists are better for everything. I would almost compared to a, a serpent hunter. So. Oh my god! That fucker almost tried to hit me right there. You guys see that? You bastard! He actually took a run at me right there. That's insane, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna install a no mosquito mod, and just nobody will even notice. That's what I'm going to do. No mosquito mod. No hit runner friendly, no mosquito mod. I know they're dragonflies, but they're not really dragonflies because I don't. I don't see them as dragonflies. Dragonflies are friendly. I was pretty good, Dan. We killed Loretta, and then we made it to Millennia, but I was I was so tired <laughs> by that point. Yeah, it was pretty good. We actually get so many runes on this run. Maybe I don't even need the Knight's Cavalry, dude. I don't know. Because I, I decided to kill the Knight's Cavalry before I realized that I could kill the Sentinel with Rock Sling. What time did I end at? I think we ended at about 1.30. Yeah, yeah, Fist could get a... Exactly. Uh, when I did um, when I did the Iron Ball no hit run at the end of it, um, I was saying that if FromSoft nerf it, all they, if they just, you know, take down the damage 20 to 30%, it would still be a top tier weapon. Ruin your sleep schedule? Well, it ruined my sleep schedule, but not really, because I still woke up at the, my normal time today, but I was just kind of fucking tired, but it's fine. Jesus. See, there's all this, there's all these little details I don't know, because I don't go to these areas that much, so I didn't know there's a fucking fist that jumped out at you right there.
Better just stick to the wall. Oh, like the just the left when I'm running towards it, you're saying? What's up, uh, Anthemion, by the way? And DNC, welcome back. Alright, so now we can use Night Comet. Oh, I should probably level up. And hopefully Night Comet is good at killing that enemy. Hopefully. As the turn around, what, then fast travel back? Probably, probably about the same. It's too bad the uh, intelligence talisman is nowhere, like, it's so out of the way. How's it going, drunk? Yeah, so what I think, with how they balance some of the builds in this game, I think that they, they knew that sorcery was going to be the strongest thing in the game. And so I believe that's why they locked the... Uh, Maybe I'm giving them too much credit with how they balance their builds and stuff, but I'm pretty sure that's the reason why they lock a lot of the um, sorcery-based items behind, you know, either long quest lines or they're just not accessible early game. And I think that's why. Like, I think that's how they wanted to balance it. All right, you got the Intelligence Talisman, which I guess isn't that useful, but it's... It's locked behind the Rani quest line. And then the uh, Magic Scorpion. Why am I getting this? Magic Scorpion's locked behind a quest line as well. And it's not. Yeah, it's not hard. But. I, I think they, they consciously chose to make it long to get. To, ba to, you know, balance it out a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know how I picked up the Axe Talisman and stuff, but... Yeah, you never know, dude. Could run out of uh, FP and then... Have to start bonking people. I want to start getting used to playing with uh, this camera auto rotation off. It's kind of weird, though. Definitely need to get used to the range of this spell. All right, what do you guys think is the is the plan for this for this guy? Did I rock sling him or? Oh, wow. Okay. If I had known that was going to do that, then I could have, like, used a night comment on him there. Well, yeah, I just, I didn't know how that was going to work, but... Okay, so let's go now to... Let's go to the gate. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break, uh, you guys. Very quick break. Hey, what's up, Em? How's it going, dude? I will be back in, a, in like two minutes, you guys. I just have to go do something really fast, so... Yeah, one second.
Okay, thanks for waiting, guys. No, I just had to go see somebody. Dude, the insane 10 TV. Okay, this camera. Oh man, this camera's so weird. You guys play with this uh this setting on? Not sure how I feel about it. I actually did do a bunch of pull ups. Not fifty, but It just my uh, my like aunt was here. So it's a recycle bin. Yeah, I think I think probably objectively this is better for camera control, right? Because the only thing that's affecting your camera is you. You moving it. So yeah, maybe I'll start playing like this. I guess the only thing would be the other games don't have this, so you'd have to get used to that as well. Any tips for Fire Giant? Uh, where are you like having issues with? Are you getting into phase two? Yeah, pest threads. <laughs> yeah, pest threads is good for Fire Giant. I don't think we we do need this. I've managed to not get the one in Fort Fair off. But yeah, Fire Giant, I mean, obviously in phase one, you want to be attacking his his left ankle. And it's not the foot. It's like you have to hit the ankle or his heel in order to get that, like, the higher damage. Um, and then when it comes to phase two, I think you don't try to... I think it's a mistake to try to stay super close to him the whole time. You want to get some distance, and then, you know, once he starts doing his melee attacks, you want to just stand... Um... How far away from him? Just, like, you want to be in front of him... And baiting out the melee attacks. That's what you want to do. And even if he rolls to the side, you want to try to still follow him. And stay that, that proper distance. Is it the run? Uh, maybe, John. I, I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna do like a we're gonna do a run through here regardless of if I get hit or not. Yeah, slice after sorceries, yeah. It's okay, I get like we can still do it. I think I do like this this setting uh, turned off. I think it's better. It, it's better this way. <clears throat> Do 
You can't get used to it? I think I'm already used to it. Probably. I wonder what made them want to add this setting into this game, but just not the other, the older ones. Or just what even gave them the idea to add this setting in? I wonder. Maybe, maybe since they saw how much more popular this game is, they... They're like, oh yeah, let's just like add a bunch of features so that people... I don't know. Since so many more people are playing it, we want it to be more... User-friendly or something. They really should add, uh, add toggle sprint, you're right. Yo, Chris, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. They really should add toggle sprint, man. I think that would be really nice. On Samuka. Hopefully, I'm not uh, forgetting anything at this point. I don't think so. No, toggle sprint in boss fights is not useful. Uh, or I, I wouldn't use it personally because it'll just mess up your stamina, but you could. It's more just for the long running sections, which I guess the thing is, this game doesn't. Since we're on horse all the time, it's not as big of a deal as in the normal Souls games, where you actually just have to run through everywhere. Well, there, yeah, an actual way to pause, I mean, I actually think that that's sort of one of the, the things that makes Souls games, that separates the Souls games, right? There's always people talking about how you can't pause in these games sort of like a I don't know I think it's fine without having to pause Do you start running faster no you don't so there's there's um the main there's there's like two advantages I would say that I can think of the first one is that you can in Dark Souls 2 you can't sprint and menu at the same time normally if you're using toggle sprint though you can Right, so that's really big for for speed running and stuff. So yeah, if, if you're not if you're not using toggle sprint, you just can't sprint and open the menu at the same time. Like you can't do stuff in your menu and sprint. The other thing in Dark Souls 2 is that when you're entering fog gates or entering, you know, doors or opening doors or whatever, if you press B to try to queue up a sprint after you open the door, you'll actually just cancel out of the opening the door animation. But if you use toggle sprint, you don't. So you can queue up a sprint with toggle sprint and, and not have to like time your B press or something or press and hold B. But I think the, the main thing that I really like about toggle sprint and why I, when I play Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls 1, I use it is just because it, it rests my finger. Because you're just constantly sprinting in the games, right? Just all the time you're sprinting. And so, when it comes to uh, casual playthroughs of the game, I don't think it really matters that much. But when you're doing speedrunning, I, I think it does. You are fucking joking, dude.
Oh, I guess I could have teleported with the map. That's true. It doesn't matter. Why would he have done that? Was I too far away, maybe? Must have been too far, right? That's the only possible explanation for that. That was bizarre. Especially because we did test this like a, a good number of times, right? We did test this and that didn't happen. I'm t like this, this tree sentinel, you guys, I, they changed something with him. They changed something with him, dude. He's fucked up. Um, I guess this time I will try to stand a bit closer. That's what I, I, I think that must have been the problem there. That was so weird. At least we didn't die, I guess. Well, the, the other problem is now I'm probably going to have to go buy more cuckeries, I think. It's really a shame that there's not just a grace here because... Then I, uh... I don't know, we won't have to run all the way back here. Yeah, that's true. But it's it's not even that much faster though in the, in the hero's grave. Oh, oh, the cave. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's the... Or the catacomb. Yeah, you're right. I guess I could get that. Not a bad idea. No, you can't use normal throw knives. You have to use something that makes enough noise. Yo, Dirty Joe. Thanks so much for the brand new Prime sub, dude. Okay. There we go. That's that's what's supposed to happen there. There it is. Okay. So I think I think it was a distance thing, you guys. Pretty sure. A Sir Kayo. I said that so wrong. Thanks for the brand new prime as well, dude. Sir Kayo. Thanks so much, dude. All right, we did it. It wasn't pretty, but we did it. So now, um, I, I'm just going to give myself the minimum stats for... For Night Comet. And yeah, Nox Duo is not really some big concern here. They die pretty quick. Uh, welcome in, Joe. Thanks so much, dude. Yeah, you love to see the YouTube people coming in. It's great, dude. So I think last time, um, last time I could do, I think they died in three night comets. We'll see if that's the same. Hell? 
hell's going on? Why is my damage so low? I must be forgetting something. But I don't know what it is. Yo, Anthemian, thanks for the 100 bits, dude. Does anybody know what I'm forgetting? No staff upgrade? You can't actually... No, this staff isn't... I didn't normally... Uh, like, you can't upgrade it. Oh, the staff of... Oh, you're right. Okay. You're right. I might have also had more intelligence when I did this last time. Okay, um, so we got Lusat staff, and now let's see if we can upgrade it here. Yeah, I totally forgot the staff of loss, dude. Well, I presume oh. I am an old courier, perhaps you. Oh, we did uh, Raytheon, yeah. So the staff is 52, right? 52, so if I get to 42, we're good. When do we go get the bubble? Because we can't forget, we need 18 arcane for the bubble. At some point. Well, then I presume... I think for Bernal, we don't we don't have to worry about anything. We just night common him. What is going on here? Is the game trying to... Fr oh, the game's... Oh, wait. Actually, not sure why that was happening. This, like, auto... Okay. Yeah, Bernal is a huge idiot, dude. Let's go, Noxy, and uh, pay. Welcome back. I see looking around his head because I, I think Night Comet pierces, right? So, or maybe it doesn't. I don't know, but I think he just hears the projectile hitting and target him. But yeah, but you can't target friendly NPCs, right? Man. Okay, uh, Bernal, and now let's go to the Death Bird. Yeah, so I so what yeah, what's happening there is it pierces him and then it hits the wall and then he hears it hit the wall. And, then, and so he's looking for it. Gonna be able to get that room without any support? I don't think so. Yeah, there's, so there's a few things so far that I need to uh Peck again. I guess picking up the intelligence tier, and then also, um, what was the other thing? There's a, there's actually a few things. Running through the Celia Town, and then picking up. Picking up what else? Like the the rock sling. The bubble. Uh, it's the oracular bubble. It's like the main spell we use. Next run planned. The next run planned. I'll go back to the executioner sword run. I'm I I I am, but I actually I don't think I'm gonna use it anywhere. I don't know if it's really great on any percent to be honest. Your 
You could definitely use it on a lot of stuff. I just, I don't think it's necessary though. I kind of want to kill this guy. If I can just do the same thing to him as Bernal. That's weird. I guess sorcery kind of aims higher up than... Like, I'm aiming so low. Isn't that so weird? What the hell? <laughs> In before it's this setting? That is so weird, dude. Is it just... Maybe it's just the spell is, is weird to free aim. I don't understand that. Like, look, I'm aiming this low. Is it still gonna... That's so weird. Huh. Very weird. Well, no, so I, I turned off the, the auto-aim setting, though. So it's just, I guess, Night Comet when you're framing it, like... I don't know. Interesting. Because the, the, the auto-aim setting is uh, is this one. Auto-target. I need to wait for nighttime. Yeah, we killed that guy just to save some runes. I mean, I might as well kill him. Always go with the left-hand balls, dude. What's up, Woody? And, uh, Gags, welcome in. Always put the balls in your left hand, you guys. I must have um, had an upgraded Lusat staff when I killed this guy on the last run because I remember killing him in like four hits. That's a good point, we shall actually, yeah. Yeah, that's like a common thing. Even in Dark Souls 3, I remember doing miracle runs, and when you cast some of the miracles, you, you take a huge step forward, and it makes it really awkward to position yourself. Okay, so Rhea's good, and now let's go get to Volcano. Oh, we did, King. Yeah, we actually did beat them. Oh, I shouldn't... For God's sake, man. I shouldn't have put... We don't need... I don't know why I even got the... Golden Vow yet. I kind of want Quick Step for this area, but it's okay. Keep your balls in your, in your left hand to keep them warm. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, we do need this grace for later. RTSR work on all damage types. It does, yeah. I am Tan Raya, a warrior. Perhaps you will you join? Why accept? Rise with us. And now you build the drawing room light. But be sure.
I'm not going to use Blue Dancer. There's no point. The only time that would do anything is on Elden Beast, and we don't really need more damage for Elden Beast, so... Why is our stone sword key situation? So we've got... We're about to get a third. And then we need... We do need more. So I guess I'll have to buy some from round table. Uh, the main spell is is the uh, oracular bubble. Picking up the one in hidden room. Uh, wait, which one do you mean? Oh, oh, like this elevator up here? I guess I could, but I could just buy them. Oh, damn, Mumblerino. Hopefully, uh, everything's okay, dude. Sorry to hear that. Ooh. Barely. Yeah, I need to suckle on some, uh, some runes, dude. Suckle on some runes. I don't even know what Edie was trying to say when she was saying that, dude. I don't even understand. I did this skip for like two hours yesterday. Yeah, it's pretty tricky. Um, I don't know if I really have any tips for it, though, to be honest. I don't know why she said suckle. She's like, you're trying to suckle on my, like, on your what? What am I trying to suckle on? I'm going to try to use Night Comet for this stuff. Oh, you don't care about that. See, so, like, there's definitely different sort of noise levels that things make. Legit strat to skip Godskin. Oh, yeah, I mean, we just, we skipped the boss. Yeah, there's just some parkour. And somehow, they have not patched that yet. And and what's interesting is that there's a skip right down the bridge, right? The Somber 7 that they've patched numerous times. So, 
they they patched the somber seven jump but they haven't patched the actual boss skip that has been in there since day one that has been known about since basically day one so it's very interesting god run three is happening because i changed the raid incentive from just the god run to the god run three if we hit the maximum and then we did hit the maximum so like on the on the final day i did that and then people that was the worst throw i've ever seen So yeah, now the bet is kind of uh the bet is kind of irrelevant at this point now, but But I'll still finish up the runs. Why don't I do the new Summer 7 skip? Well, <laughs> well because it's it's very obviously an out of bounds, right? You can easily just follow the map through there. And it's actually easy to die, right? Unless there's some new one that you're talking about. All right, let's go to Iggy now. Oh, I actually forgot to do something. I got some sleep, Panda. I, I, not a lot, but. Oh, wait, did I buy the? No, we're good. Okay, let me run to the manor here, though, because I should have done this earlier. I like to do this early in case you get the weird meme with the arrows. But now that my game's frame rate is good, maybe it's not a problem anymore, but I, I still don't trust it. Yeah, we've done Ordovis's Great Sword. We've done, like, we're doing Executioners kind of at the moment. Like, I'll do that just whenever we finish this. Uh, was there not one more? Maybe there wasn't. How's it going, Zephyr? Welcome back, dude. Yeah, so the God Run 3 will be next year, you guys, is when we're going to do that. Of course, I have to know a Demon Souls first, and then we're going to do, like, a big practice and de-rust at all this at, at all the games and then it'll be interesting all right sir plus nine yeah demon souls remake yeah will be my order uh the games that i'm the worst at first and the games that i'm the best at last Yeah, there's other things that I also forgot. We we want to go get right now the uh let's go get the carrion slicer staff now. Whatever it's called. The carrion blindstone staff or something. Back over no matter. I'm going to do no damage pay for the god run. I haven't decided if I'm going to do no Kuro's charm no damage or not, but I'm I'm definitely not doing just normal no hit. There's no chance I will. Okay, so let's um Yeah, let's go get that staff, I guess. And that staff is really out of the way, isn't it? Uh, depends on on what no no damage is just you mean it just simply means you can't take damage but no hit means you can't block essentially but it depends on the run right if you do no crow's charm that means you can't block anyways because you take damage if you block but there's no chance in hell i'm following that no hit rule move set for for sekiro so it's going to be a no damage run it just do I do no Kuro's Charm or not? Is this the, what we're going to decide? <laughs> yeah, wind hits you run over. Yeah. 
I'm no, they don't. I I'm I. They 100% do not allow lightning reversals in no hit either, unless I'm wrong about that. But I, I was fairly certain in the no hit run or the no hit rule set for Sekiro, there was no lightning reversals allowed. Which, to be honest, it, it probably makes sense, but. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have run to this from this direction. This is probably a mistake. Especially considering I don't need the turtle pope for any reason. Oh wait, maybe I do. Dude, I totally forgot about the carrying slicer tome. Maybe I do need the turtle pope. Was that the hidden body? Re well, the hidden body, the reason why that was banned is because people thought it was too, like, OP to use. I think that's it. But no, of course, I'm just going to do rules that I think make sense. I'm not going to do any of these, like, I don't know. These no hit or these team hit list rules that don't really make any sense. Well, I think the the lightning reversal thing is like you take damage from it, so you're like basically getting hit by it from an enemy attack, and then I don't know, I don't know, I don't really run Skiro, so. On uh, ice bear. Um, how did I get this tome before? I went from behind. What's up, uh, evac? By the way. Yeah, I haven't played Sekiro since, uh, the last time I played it was before they buffed, uh, what's it called? It was before they buffed, what the hell is, oh yeah, Mortal Draw, it was before they buffed that. I'm gonna have to learn, like, all the new updated strats and stuff. I do have Gambit right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure that Sekiro is the game that I'm least looking forward to running again. <laughs> I don't know why. Out of all of the, the God Run 3 games. Not sure why, though. It's just this.
Well, the, the Divine Dragon, it's not a lightning reversal. It's, uh, like, it's a different interaction. Ah, the casual arcane build, dude. Insane. What am I here for again? I'm here for something. But I do not know what. Oh, yeah. I'm here for these. So, we need one for... Godfroy, and then we need two for the Crystallian Cave. And that's it. So let's just get a couple of those. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just level up. Level up, and then when... We need to be casting the bubble pretty soon. So, you know what? Let's just go down. <laughs> Let's go down now. We might as well. Go get this stuff. This run could actually have like 100 splits very easily. What's up, Chalk? They start routing. Well, it's not it's not really when you have to route, right? Like what is there to route on it? It's not like a brand new run. It's just combining runs that I for the most part already done. The only run I haven't done is Demon Souls no hit. Like you kind of just do it, right? Yeah, we, yeah, I, I do have to route Demon Souls for sure. Uh, not necessarily, Steel. I, I, I could change it up. I think... I don't know. That's... I'd probably... I think I'm more consistent at DS2 than DS3, probably, but... I don't know. It would be something like that. Those would be the last three games for sure. I think Dark Souls 1 would be... The fourth last game, like the middle game. And and then, you know, Demon Soul, Sekiro, and Bloodborne would be the first three. Like that's that's for sure they're gonna be the order. But I I'm, I'll probably swap it around. I don't think what's going to be nice though my, my the god run three for me i would assume will not be over it's not gonna be over like seven hours right it does depend on which routes i'm doing and with a run like that the runs we've been doing for for like the this bet like the 40 runs in dark souls 3 and dark souls 2 i haven't worried about efficiency at all um but when we do Dark Souls 3, like, I'm going to be doing the efficient Twin Blade route that's an hour long. Dark Souls 2, same thing. One hour long, like, Rapier route, and then Dark Souls, Dark Souls 1's really fast. So, it really shouldn't take me over... It, well, I said seven hours. It's probably going to be, like, I don't know. It won't be over nine hours, most likely. Because being efficient is, uh... One of the most important things with that sort of run.
But it's actually probably going to be faster than nine hours, I would assume. At least with all the in-game times total. It is seven games, yeah. Well, Demon Souls, Kazuda was telling me that he has a good route for Demon Souls that is less than an hour. And, uh, and so what I'm thinking, I'll just adapt that route to be maybe a little bit safer. And it should be, I would assume, 110 or less. So that's what I'm thinking. I, I don't know how long Bushido's or, or Dino's God Run 3 is, but I just, I really think it's, it's insanely important that, that the runs are efficient. I think that's the most important thing. Well, of course, being consistent is more important, but after that, you got to be consistent. Or else you're just wasting, or you, well, yeah, consistent, but then you got to be efficient so that, you know, nobody's going to no-hit all the games at 100% consistency. Okay, so this is enough for Lusat staff already. So we've got 42, and then we've got the end tier. Um, I think we're good to go. I will start getting a little bit of Arcane, I think. Because we need, how much do we need? It's 18, right? We need 15 arcane. Yeah, 13 and a half hours. Like, that's, you know, that's a long time. That's almost two hours per game. And I just think, like, if you're resetting and you're 10 hours in and you're only on, like, game five or something, it's, it's a lot better to reset if you're, you know, instead of being 10 hours in on game five, you're, like, five, right? Or four. Okay, do we get this arcane now? I guess I can just wait. We don't need it yet. We have one Kukri, though. I should probably go get more. Shit, dude. I should have... Oh, man, this is um, this is not great. Because I wasted some of the Knight's Cavalry. Or not the Knight's Cavalry. The Draconic Sentinel. Yeah, and then I guess Bloodborne is less than an hour. Like, Bloodborne is 50, 45 to 50 minutes. And then Sekiro should be maybe even less than that. Maybe like 40. So I think I, I think doing it in, in around 7 hours is very realistic. I say 9 to put like a, a high estimate. Because maybe, you know, maybe by the time I get to the later games, I'll be a bit safer or something. But, but probably not, because the, the later games are going to be... You know, Elden Ring, Dark Souls 3, and Dark Souls 2, where I no-hit those at already really high consistency, so. So, yeah, I mean, I think I, I, there's gonna, I'm gonna have to get a lot more consistent, obviously, at some of the games to be able to do the God Run 3, but we can sort of break it up into... You know, if we no hit the first four games, then it's almost basically over, I think. I don't remember having to do this in the routing run. It's like a true sorcery run right now, dude. Hour and 20 minutes, still getting stuff set up. true sorcerer. I 
Uh, God Run 3 will start next year at some point. I obviously need to no-hit Demon Souls first because i that's the game I haven't no-hit yet. I have no idea how long it'll take me. I'm not sure. I, I, I think... Uh, I don't know. I have no estimate. I'm gonna actually go take a quick break, you guys, before I uh before I go into this cave. I'm just gonna go to round table. I will be uh, back in a few minutes, you guys. I just I'm gonna go eat lunch because I it's already 3115 somehow. Uh but yeah, I'm gonna be back. I'm just gonna go grab something to eat and uh yeah, we'll continue this run. Hopefully I don't die, because we already made it past the setup now, so. Well, I guess we're you know, we're still kinda getting set up, but I don't know. I'll be back in a few minutes, you guys.
Okay, thanks for winning, you guys. Uh, okay, finally. Go kill something. How do you make rice? Uh, well, like, what, what appliances do you have? If you have a rice cooker, you just put the rice in. Or, or wash it first, and then put it in, and then turn it on. That's it. Oh, congrats, uh, Blue. Nice, dude. Let's go in Domo. Never wash rice. Um, I think I think it's better to wash your rice. I maybe I'm wrong about that, but honestly, don't even know why. Maybe for the I don't know the uh, like all the starch and stuff. But I was gonna use red feather here, but I guess I just won't. Did I mess up? I guess I'm supposed to wait. Um, I'm supposed to wait until this enemy gets to the side before I start actually attacking. Nice. I think my favorite part about doing these like r other, you know, these random builds, I guess this sorcery isn't really a random build, but it's all these extra bosses that we're fighting. Like the Crucible Duo, the, uh, you know, Magma Worm and all these extra bosses. It's really fun to fight them with not OP stuff. much int we have 40 we have 39 but then we also have this talisman that gives us three and then we have extra 10 from the physic which shampoo do i use i actually don't even know what shampoo i use I just use whatever's in there <laughs> like i don't i get changes Okay, let's go here. So by this point, we want the arcane. It is, yeah, it is. It's usually, like, during my whole life, I've used either my mom's or my sister's shampoo. And, like, I don't use conditioner at all either. But I guess I, I don't know. Oh! We actually have a problem here. How do I only have 14 arcane right now?
We need we need one more for the bubble. Okay, that's probably okay. I'm sure I could sell some stuff. But then I also want to get the other memory slot now, though. But we're almost ready to go, you guys. Well, I took you no matter how you're up. Okay, I'm sure we're good now. Okay. get hit by some random game glitch yeah imagine that dude uh this this build is an astrologer build yeah like we started with the astrologer i'm personally not an astrologer if that's what you were asking A snow event? What does that mean? Like, there's just a bunch of snow on the ground or something? Yeah, somebody asked me what my sign was the other day, man. That, that like, astrology stuff makes me cringe very hard. I know people just do it for fun, but I, like, I have no idea. Well, I, I hope people do it for fun. I don't know. Maybe they don't. Maybe they're like totally legitimate astrologers, dude. Let's go on PI. Yeah, I don't know if that's if that's like if that astrology stuff is actually something that people pay attention to, like unironically. But if it is, I'm happy that I do not know literally anybody who is like that. So I don't know if it's real. I don't know. I don't know if people actually do that. Uh, are you right in saying that older Souls games bosses are significantly less aggressive? Um, not necessarily. I think in Dark Souls 1 and 2, maybe. But even then, though. I, 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 don't, think, I don't think that's actually right. Okay, here we go, you guys. Let's see what happens here. Wait, why did you... Oh. That's interesting. Oh, I, okay. We haven't had that one happen before. But it wasn't, my camera wasn't frozen. It was just the, it was just the game. It was the capture card, I think. That's a new one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Live splice, dude.
You little snake, dude. What a little snake boss, that fucking guy trying that on me right there. What a little snaker, dude. That's a, like that's so cheap that he could just do that. Like, yeah, I'm just going to frame one, cast this attack, and then die, and then I'm still going to get it off. At least we had a lot of room there. Okay, so what's the next thing to do? Magic here. And the setup is okay. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's go to round table now. But I have some runes. I've got some stuff to buy. We got to buy the memory slot. And I guess that's probably good for now. Is it going 35 -er? By both meteorite stuff. Well, it's a meteorite stuff there because I was using uh, rock sling and meteorite stuff boost rock sling. Um. We can go get slicer now. By the way, let's go do that. I uh, think so much, Dogzilla. I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, we do, dude. Imagine a bubble staff. How broken that would be. Imagine like an extra twenty percent. What? What's the? Uh, what's the night staff? What's the staff of loss boost to invisible sorcery? Is it? It's more. Than, isn't it like thirty percent? We need a thirty percent stronger bubble, dude. Imagine that one. be so insane. I actually think that the uh I think the bubble is probably the most underrated spell in the game or it's definitely one of them, right? I've never seen anybody use the bubble. Not a single time. Yes, yeah, the the magic's balls, dude. You are I welcome. I am my opponent. Do you know how it came? Where shattering it is here by the match, and so the earth. Oh, you are free. I would so if you find unless in which case. Oh, very well. Heresy, all thing. Okay, here we go. True, yeah, it's definitely not as easy of a spell to use. Like, yeah, I 100% I agree. But still, I think it's still it's still super underrated. Uh, the other bubble spell is pretty trash. Like the... Yeah, the one that's kind of just a shotgun of bubbles is pretty bad. But it's it's more of a, of a spell that you can actually use in a boss fight, though. I might be too high, you guys, that first one. I'm going to cast an extra one here. The bubble.
smoldering with thy meager flame. Cower in fear of the night. The hands of the fell over the bubble. Brook thee no quarter. I it tight the gods you breach the fair enough. <laughs> the spawn killing? Yeah, we spawn killed them, dude. I don't even need- I, I won't get more intelligence, there's no point. Um, I do want to equip the bow. That's what I'm saying, I think the, the bubble, like, actually is the most underrated spell in the game. Not that it's the best spell, or anything like that, but... There's literally, as far as I'm aware, there's no other spell in the game that can do what we just did to, to market and what we do to uh, basically every other boss. We just explode them. Because it's interesting. There's there's been spells like this in the past in in other games, like uh, Lingering Flame, for example, where you place it, and when an enemy interacts with it, it explodes. But it, this one works a little bit differently than that, right? Because Lingering Flame, you 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 weren't able to... You have to... Basically, when you cast Lingering Flame in DS2, it just stays where you cast it. Basically, it's right in front of your character. So you, you wouldn't be able to set up a boss like that in the same way. But this one has range, and then it sits in the air as well. But I think it would actually be cooler if the spell didn't explode until it hit something. I think that'd be really cool. But maybe that'd be like way too OP because then you could just place a hundred of them and then like somebody would walk into it and just <laughs> actually just nuclear bomb goes off. But it's pretty cool how it works. All bubble blowing babies will be beaten senseless, senseless by every able bodied patron in the bar. Amen, dude. But no, if they did that, I think Lingering Flames, you can only have a certain amount of them out at a time. So, I'm sure that's how it worked in this as well. If you could just cast four bubbles and then have them all just sit out. And then trigger an enemy to try to walk through it or something. It'd be some good fun. I could use Red Feather, but I'm not going to because there's just no point. Bubble nerf incoming? Definitely not. Whoops, I meant to not do that. Oh, I'm so stupid, you guys. I forgot I was supposed to... Ah. Oh. I totally botched this, but it's okay. I, I was supposed to come into the fight. Eastern. Oh my goodness, I really botched this. I was supposed to walk into the fight and then cast it and then spam him, but I just, I totally forgot, so. Oh, I was supposed to kill Gillica here as well. Watch. We'll return what a disaster. To our home, bathed in rays of gold.
What a fiasco. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Wrong offhand staff. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> that was a disaster. Yeah, I could have either gone with the with this one, the Glintstone staff. Either of these two would have boosted my damage there, but of course I go with the one that doesn't. It's okay. At least that was... Uh, I mean, it's fine. It still destroyed him. It's just I really botched it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally impossible to lose with this setup. Exactly. Doing consumables. Um, probably. Probably Shogun, but I don't know. I, I might do that stuff thrown in. What's up, uh, Mar Mark Optics, by the way? Welcome in. Yeah, so you need to be standing in the zone when they hit the enemy, Meander. It's not when you cast it. I, I believe. Like, I, I think if you're not in the zone and then you walk into it and then they explode, then, then it still gets the damage buff. But if you cast them while inside of it and you walk out and then they hit, then... You don't get it. What's up, Raphael? It's going okay so far. And uh, M64, welcome back. Uh, God Run 3 is it's for the raid thing, M64. It was for the raid sponsorship. I, I changed the incentive, uh, the max goal, to God Run 3 instead of just normal God Run. What's up, uh, Salicious? Yo, Salicious. How's it going, dude? Veteran 3 is 7. 7 games. Okay, so yeah, Staff of Loss is good. Offhand Staff give... Um, yeah, it does, right? So... It's actually, it's worked like this in all the FromSoft games, as far as I'm aware. And it's, I think it's really stupid, but just how it is. But, a, so a staff like the Staff of Lost, see it boosts Invisible Sorcery. It does it by 30%. Even if I'm not casting with that staff, but I have it in my offhand, it gives me that bonus. Which is really dumb. But that's just how it works. Uh, the Great Rune just is... Godric's Great Rune gives me five levels in every stat. So it's kind of nice just to get some more mind, more endurance. More stuff. More intelligence too, I guess. I could just carry and slice with this guy, I guess. Everyone's got to start saying GG on this boss because um, Danny made a Danny made a like a a tweet about I killed Gillicut in like two hits on one of the runs and then people were saying GG on that fight and then he was like <laughs> he was like why do people say GG after one shotting a boss dude so now everyone's got to say GG after that. Um, I guess let's go rock sling here.
Yeah, Danny's really funny, though. It was just a meme, of course. But it was pretty good. Physic is the magic and magic tier and the intelligence tier. You know what's funny? You could be casting Howl on top of this build and getting an extra 25% damage. Isn't that wild to think about? So when we... I actually would love to do sorcery only all bosses no hit and uh, incantation all bosses no hit. And, you know... Well, I, I, guess, I guess I wouldn't use that because it's not a sorcery on all bosses, but you could do an all bosses run and use all of this setup and, and get an extra 25% damage with uh, Howl on top of it if you wanted to. Might not be necessary, but I mean. Yeah, true. And the Prince of Death staff if you had high enough stats, dude. That build would be just so busted, man. Uh, welcome back, Paletto. I, I, I would say so, Woody. I, I probably wouldn't use... Uh, like, it's, it's, it's sort of all arbitrary anyways, though, right? Because I still use weapon buffs. And if you're doing a sorcery only, like, why should you be allowed to use Golden Bow? Right? That's a pretty valid question, but... I don't know. You just do whatever you think makes sense. Nice one. Of course, I've got the wrong staff equipped. Wow, this is a clinic of how to not do this run right here. Putting on an absolute clinic of how to fuck up the run, basically. That'd actually be so cool if he deflected the, the, the rock sling. It'd be insanely cool. Oh shit, that guy's firing at me. How does Howl stack with Golden Vow or Jelly Shield? Um, Howl would stack with all those. Yep. As far as I'm aware. Definitely going to want to switch back to Night Comet here. What's up, Pandemonium? But so I guess the highest, I mean, in terms of those buffs, the best one, like Howl is obviously really good, and then... Probably Commander Standard is what you would want to go with to, for the maximum damage. And then, yeah, you could go with Jellyfish. Like, there's just... I actually don't like how many buffs you can, you can apply to your character in this game. It's kind of ridiculous.
No, Howl replaces Flame Ground Strength. Uh, no, we I didn't finish it yet, 35er. Still gotta do it. <laughs> golden Vowel. <laughs> Insane Golden Vowel, dude. Um, okay, let's swap out this one. More intelligence. Golden bowels. Man, I got some golden bowels. Jabiri stacks with commander standard, yeah. Yeah, how's our build looking here? Radan, demigod of the shattering I the festival. But no. uh, it's fun to play with both, Joe, I think. It's fun to mix it up. Need red feather here. Uh did I? I could set it up. Yeah, maybe we did. I'll use it. Might as well. Do we prefer Bingo League or Omit League? I don't know. Omit League was really fun. I think Bingo League will be simpler. But we will see. I've got the right staff. I think so. I mean, we might have to hit him with a Night Comet, but not necessarily. Very nice. The exact 10k damage, dude. The sorcerer lifestyle is what we're living right now. We're already at two we're already at two hours right now, man. It's insanely slow. But I did like take a break and stuff, I guess. Yeah, he almost he almost got an attack off there, dude. Nearly. Only five you have now to become the thing. Yeah, this run is very slow. Like this is this is gonna be like three hours. <laughs> this is gonna be over three hours probably. But it's okay. Okay. Um. I don't think we need anything else. We just go. I'm mistaken. Serpent Hunter can be sub one and a half. Oh, easily, yeah. Way, way under that. Uh, I don't know if sub one hour no hit is possible, but uh, you can probably get decently close. Yeah, let's go on Kaza. Kaza with the insane tier three sub, dude. Look at that insane badge. B 
be the other Game of Thrones? Would it? I don't, I don't really know the story of... I haven't seen Game of Thrones, and I also don't know the story of this game, so... But maybe. You might be right. Like a reskin. Yeah, no, I, I know it was the same guy, yeah. Yeah, there could be a lot of uh, ED uh, quotes, I think, from the co-op. Like, suckle my whatever, dot, dot, dot. And we're Eiffel towering the boss or something, <laughs> like... All this fucking weird ass stuff she says. Oh my god, yeah, that is, uh, it's pretty funny, dude. Okay, I'm fairly confident we did not need Red Feather for this fight. Although if I used it, it'd probably save a hit, but it's we don't need it. Yeah, we did beat Loretta. Yeah, we we really have just such garbage builds on that. It's so bad. I shouldn't have gone with a magic build. It's it's good. Like it's a good build for normal playthroughs, but it's really weak when you're fighting more than one enemy. Okay, um... <clears throat> I botched the strat. Man, how am I messing up every strat? It's so annoying. I just, I, I triggered the boss a tiny bit too late and then it exploded when he was in the iframe still. Which one of the endings would I pick for a sequel? Well, I, I was really disappointed when you get that the frenzied flame ending and then just nothing happens. Like the earth tree looks all cool and then the world's supposed to be all messed up, but then it's like you go out and it's just normal. So probably that one.
Okay, we have an extra talisman slot, but there's there's actually just nothing to put in there. Also, do you guys I think we did use red feather on, on this fight, right? If I'm remembering correctly here. Some stone tablets in this room get turned into a solid box. I don't know if I know what you mean by that, but. Yeah, I think it would have been cool if you could like walk around the world or and it wouldn't even have to be some crazy new world state. I think if they just, you know, they make the earth tree burn, right? In, in just the base game where it's on fire. If they just made it look cool, I think that would have been enough for me. Maybe change the lighting. Okay. Um, all right. So this, I'm going to have to not kill myself here. Because we have to cast Gambit. We want to cast it twice, I believe. Let's just go from here. Let's just get the red feather from Gambit here. That's probably good. Get the insane delay kill on that one. Hello again. Allow me. You are unprevented. The thorns a husk. The only way. And what was the fire giant kill? So I'd like you to the flame. Then I really then cannot remember, you. but I guess we're gonna figure it out once we get there. <clears throat> what was the fire giant kill? Was it? It was just flash sword in phase one, right? Did I? I didn't sleep him or anything, did I? And then, oh no, it was really easy actually. Yeah, you just flash flash sword phase one, and then a bunch of rock slings, and he stuns, right? And then you go and. Slicer him. How's it going, uh, Bahala? Welcome back. Oh, did I sleep him at all? I don't remember sleeping him. Oh, I did. Okay. I guess that's fine then. Did I- I really slept him? Okay, okay. I actually have done the Ascended mod, uh, Death From Above. I didn't actually finish it, but I played for a few days. No, so it was okay. I don't know if that's my type of mod though. But I do plan, once we're done, you know, these run requests, then I'll probably do a couple mod playthroughs, I guess. I might as well. Especially when Convergence comes out.
Yeah, so I think let's swap out maybe... I don't need the bubble on Fire Giant, so I'm going to swap out the bubble, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that, that command has the, the tweet, right? Or is it a tweet? I think so. The legend, dude. It's interesting. I really do not rem remember sleeping fire giant on this, but I guess I, s I just slept him right after I broke the ankle thing, right? I guess it just makes things uh, a bit simpler. Uh, Maybe lasagna. I can't remember though. It sounds very familiar. Artist weapon. Probably the Halo Scythe. The Halo Scythe is a garbage weapon for a no-hit run. Very bad. I think that's probably the worst one. At least in Elden Ring. That was the worst one for sure. Let's go on Groovich. Yeah, the, the Halo Scythe has basically just nothing to go... Nothing going for it for no hit run. It's decent early game, I guess, because holy damage isn't that bad. And the discs have good DPS with some bleed if you hit with the weapon. But that basically stops working on after Redan is when it, it gets really bad. So. I like the weapon, though. It's just, it's just not good for that. It'd be good for just a normal playthrough, though, if you're just killing enemies or something. weapon better than bandit curve sword for bleed bill i don't know i think that's definitely one of the better ones though oh yeah maybe the scavenger curve sword or whatever i don't think you can really go wrong with that though you cannot equip more than one great rune only one how did redo for the end game um, there's, there's a lot for her to learn. I actually, I very much underestimated how, how complicated things are. Because I was just thinking the run, the iron ball run was so free. But I, I say that from a perspective of somebody who's done already like 30 plus any percent no hit runs in the game. Or more even. So I definitely underestimated that. Because there's a lot to learn with like swapping, swapping your items and getting the buffs off correctly. It's just all stuff that I never even think about and swapping the talismans and yeah. 
And I think once you once you get those skills, then it becomes easier than a Dark Souls 3 run, for example. But you have to get those skills, and that takes some time. Let's go on Shazam. Yeah, she she's a pretty fast learner though, so I don't really I don't really expect her to take too long to figure everything out. But then yeah, when I was when I was showing her that route, I was I was also thinking like maybe the serpent hunter is easier to use though. Just for a for a first time run, maybe it is. But I, at the same time, maybe it's not though. I don't know. Maybe it's not. An incantations only. I did do an incantations. Yeah, that's gonna be on YouTube um, on Saturday, or should I? Th I think that's. The How far? Uh, we, we, like, we routed the whole run. Yeah, we went through it all. Uh, you just have to make sure you're dealing damage to him, Brett. Incantation is insanely fun. Yeah, that was, that was maybe my favorite run so far. It's definitely one of them. Uh, Timmy's, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. When's the next stream with Edie? I, I guess we just, whenever we arrange it. I kind of wish we didn't, like, she's in, um... A West Coast, like she's three hours ahead of me, I think, or behind, sorry. And so, and she usually streams later. It's kind of unfortunate timing, and then I usually have to stream pretty late, but it's okay. Uh, what was I here for? I was here for this. I almost guarantee they will not nerf Square off, but who knows at this point. But I can also let you not then why I am Carl. I think it's very unlikely. Oh yeah, yeah, you for sure have to use Mighty Shot to hit the dragon. 36 point. Yeah, but what about just 39.9? You know, forget about 39.6. Give us that like 0.1 poise damage off. Might as well, dude. Okay, um...
I don't know what happened. Wow, this is unbelievable, you guys. No idea what happened. I just don't understand. This run is just so scuffed. It's really unfortunate, dude, because that kill should be so easy, but it, I guess it normally is for rock slings. I, I don't know. I, I probably needed to start casting immediately in phase two. But yeah, it's so scuffed, dude. Yo, uh... QB, QB PD, thanks for the uh, brand new Prime sub, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, that was uh, really scuffed, man. I'm just messing up every kill. It's really unfortunate. Flask wore off. I think the flask is still active right now, actually. That's what the blue effect is. Yeah, I guess I just forgot that it was four if rock slings there. This world and death, are you to commit? Or maybe I maybe I missed a hit somehow or something happened. I don't know. But that should be a scripted fire giant phase two. But I just totally messed it up. Sorcery only? No, if you do um, exc exclamation mark requests, you can see what all the runs are that I have to do. And then the ones that I also have done. No, so the benefit of Night Comet is that it hits like a truck, but also it can't be input read by bosses. Yeah, that was, uh, that was disappointing. Because I, I just completely messed up the kill. Because I forgot that it took four in phase two. No, Night Comet, if you have the Staff of Loss offhand... Which I guess I actually didn't have there. It's an extra 30% more damage, so it, uh... You can try it <laughs> and tell me if you think the damage is... Not good. I don't believe we need to um, set up Red Feather for this fight. What's up, Zahaj? Thanks, dude.
sorcery life, dude. Sorcerer's life, when you have a more powerful melee option with the spell than almost any weapon in the entire game. Just classic sorcery life right here. Do we get a long setup, but at least the boss fights are really fast for the most part, if you don't mess them up. That is. It's almost impossible to mess up that kill. Yeah, Farron Flash Art in DS3 is, uh, like, to be honest, though, that's probably how it should be. I don't know. If they were trying to balance it properly, th there should be some sort of downside, in my opinion, for spells. And so Flash Sword isn't, it's not really meant to deal a lot of damage, right? It's just meant to have something that you can hit enemies close range with. And it's really not great, but... Things start to get a little silly when you get... You know, a spell that's a melee weapon that is, like I said, stronger than any, almost any melee weapon in the game. Um, it's just for the birds drunk so yeah you can run through that first part without triggering any birds with the size gambit you can actually go through the second part as well but yeah it has no effect on the dragon doing skyrim no hit i've, I've done skyrim runs before I, I did skyrim no damage on novice i did it also on legendary and then i also did dawn guard yeah so i've actually done runs on skyrim before And they are on YouTube. Uh, the build for Legendary is Conjuration. You go with your more Lords. And then you just, yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. Surely I won't mess up this Malaketh kill. Least favorite boss for no hit runs in Dark Souls 2? Um, there's a few that come to my mind, right? Gang Squad. Although that being said, Gang Squad's not hard when you just do the, you just kite them around with poison. Um, Ivory King Phase One comes to mind. Um, not really sure what else. How much intelligence do we want to get? Probably get to 80. Actually, 80. 81 brings us to 99, I think. Right? Because then we get 84. Godrix is 89. And then 10 from the Physic. So this, this brings us to 99 Int. And then the rest we go into Mind, I guess. Or should I not even bother getting more? I, I guess... 
We could so this this does take us to 99, but I could just I could just keep at 76 and go mind right now. We'll go with some mind, why not? Mind and some endurance, I guess. I yeah, I don't think we're actually getting any more damage, so. Uh, Lusats is just um the best staff for this setup. It's the highest sorcery scaling. I think the only staff that gets higher sorcery scaling this one is the Prince of Death, but that's only with, like, insanely high faith and intelligence. What scaling does? So, that scaling is basically what determines your damage. With spells, right? So, how spells work is they have some, like, value of damage, and then it multiplies by your scaling. And so, that that's why, you know... That's why leveling up, so say we level up intelligence, right? It's not like a spell levels up with intelligence or scales with intelligence. That's not how it works. It's all based on the staff. So so that means even if you have, I don't know, let's say you have, I think the stone stone staff or whatever it's called is, is strength scaling. That means that even if I were to use that staff with, let's say, Knight Comet, it would, I would level up strength and my Knight's Comet's damage would increase, right? It's, it's kind of a weird system, but that's just how it works. I just, I can't believe I'm messing every single strat up. I just, I can't believe it, dude. I'm messing up every single strat. Hmm. Yeah, this is, this is what, this is happening because... Like yesterday, like we routed this run, right? And we did a lot of testing for all these strats, but then yesterday we didn't do it. And I took a multiple day break since we did all these strats. And so all my timings are just slightly off. And it is really precise to get all these strats executed. But yeah, he's, if that hits, he's staggered and he's just dead, right? It's supposed to be a completely scripted Malaketh, but I totally botched it. That's really, uh, <laughs> that's very disappointing. Yeah. Totally botched it. Wow. Pretty sure every kill I've, <laughs> almost every kill I've messed up. Almost every single one. But yeah, what I, what the issue I issue on that one was I delayed the bubble uh, the bubble cast too long and I also walked away too far, so I got the wrong follow up. And yeah, I just totally messed it up. But yeah, I meant yesterday we were routing that like other run, right? The iron balls. So everything's kind of mixed up. It's too bad, man. Too bad I'm messing everything up because, I don't know, maybe in the YouTube video we'll, like, include the actual proper strats. So that people can see what it's supposed to look like. Oh, 
no in my bones a tarnished here we go not become at least I got that one right not even you barely a man cannot kill a god Yeah, the fire giant, the Malaketh, the... I guess the Morgoth kill was good. The gold free kill I messed up. Godfroy I completely messed up. Godric I messed up. I basically messed up the duo Crystallian as well. I messed up the Nox duo even. I messed up the fucking Sentinel kill. Oh, it's just a disaster. Okay, last time here we went with um, just... I'm just going to go pure slicer here. Just keep it nice and simple. We don't need anything dumb here. Last time I was doing a bubble strat. I, I just... I don't think it's worth it. Probably riskier than me just fighting the boss. Why did our damage seem... Maybe last time... Maybe when I was testing this, I used Red Feather. My damage actually seemed kind of low there. Obviously, it wasn't bad, but I just... I thought we were doing over a 1,000 per slicer. Must have used Red Feather when we were testing it. Okay. I mean, maybe I should just get... I don't know. Let's just go like that, like that now. Uh, this is good, I think. So let's go do the tree spirit. Yeah, my int was slightly higher, but not really by much. Like we're almost at 99 int right now with all the uh, extra stats. How many hours in Souls games? Um, Souls games, I probably have... Wrong talisman? No, our talismans are fine. I don't know, man. Probably, so I think I have about 40 to 4,500 in DS3. That's by far the most. And then this game, I... I don't know how many I have. Probably like 1,800 or or more. Um, DS2, I think I have about 1,600. And then DS1, I have like maybe 250. So I guess in, in total, it's probably around 8,000. Maybe eight, eight thousand. I am blunder, yeah. Why does he kind of look like he's in a weird spot?
Imagine this is where we find out that his positioning's not consistent. Secret Agent Aram, dude. Aram's the FromSoft spy. Right, on to Loretta. It's pretty wild, though. Like, this run is... Sorcery is so insanely strong that... Of course, I, I've had to fall back on just some of my general skill in the game. Especially for that Malaketh, right? Like, I, I need to know how to fight the boss, but... As long as you just execute properly, you wouldn't have to know almost any boss moveset in the entire any percent to no hit sorcery. I think the only one you would have to know is poor Lou, but even that you can basically negate if you do like that strat I was doing before when you re-enter the fight with Gambit. But that, but that being said, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a super trivial run, though, right? I think I think it's pretty easy. I think it's pretty easy. It's just that um, it takes a high level of execution. And I think this run is a good demonstration of me just totally failing at all the execution. Mainly because I've only gone through this all, all this stuff once. And that was on Friday and today's Wednesday now. So I just, I kind of am a bit... You know, I haven't done it enough times to have it all mus muscle memory or, any or anything like that. But with this route, you definitely could avoid... You could no-hit the game while avoiding having to learn the ins and outs of all the bosses, for sure. I kill Loretta because we need to get Meteorite for uh, Elden Beast. Has this been easier or harder than the Faith Run? I would say it's harder because the Faith Run... The strategies were not as precise. You kind of just went in there and blasted the boss with Catch Flame or Pest Threads or something. And that was it. With this, though, all the positionings are much... The, the, the route I've decided to take with the, with the bubble strats, it's, it's all a lot more precise. I do think this is a really fun run, though. I'm just... I'm a little upset that I've messed up so many of the strats. Um, but yeah, that's just what happens, I guess, right? Just don't have enough reps on all this stuff yet. Just been, uh, oh, I already answered that, I guess. I do think, though, if, um, it depends what you mean by easier. It just, it actually depends on what you mean by easier, because I think you could look at this, whoa. You could look at this run and think that it's it's it is easier than incantations just because the bosses um can all be trivialized to more of a degree than you can on incantations but as i said it's uh you need more execution to do to do this for sure or execution based Uh, Stu Wows, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. Thanks so much. I do think, though, if, if somebody, let's say someone was doing this run and they're going for the, their first Elden Ring no hit any percent, and they maybe don't know the game quite as well as I do, or they just don't have the experience on the bosses, and they mess up the strats in the way that I did, they would probably have not, like, they would probably die on, on those spots, right? Because I had to fall back on the Fire Giant, just fighting Fire Giant normally. I had to fight Malaketh, basically normal. There's a lot of just strats I had to fall back on. 
because I messed up things. And that's that's one thing that's really nice about when you get better at no hitting a game, is uh, is you have the experience where if something goes wrong, you can just save it very easily. You don't really get that in, unless you, you just do a, a whole bunch of different runs, right? That's why it's good to get a lot of runs under your belt. That you can uh, adapt to stuff when things go wrong. Nice. This would actually be a great setup for all bosses no hit, I think. Like, the bubble just blasts through the Everjail bosses like crazy. Because they, you know, we get to lay the bubbles out before they spawn in. Um, bosses with fog gates or bosses that aggro to you without you having a chance to do anything first are not quite as good. Um, I, what do we go with here? Do we keep the intelligence tier? I don't think so, right? I think we go with this. Or, yeah, we keep it, but we, we leave the magic tier, and then I think... I really hope my damage is right. It could actually be a problem if it's not. It could be a legitimate problem. Move magic here. Yeah, we don't use it here. Yeah, we, yeah, definitely need red feather here for sure. It's an absolute must. Yeah, because we we need the infinite FP tier for Elden Beast. There we go. All right, GG. We did it. Man, that that last hit on Elden Beast, it's like it took it took the meteor so long to get that hit for some reason, dude. Like the last possible boulder or meteorite hit. Yeah, we did it.
Yo, Blunder, thanks for the 2 3 sub, dude. Yeah, I'm a little upset, you guys, that a lot of the kills were really messed up, but maybe the YouTube video of this run will, like, show the good kills or something. I mean, maybe it's more impressive that the kills didn't go proper this time, but it's not really about being impressive. It's about showing what the build can do. Um... Oh, we did it. I adapted pretty well. I could maybe redo it, or maybe I can make a tutorial on it. I'm uh, I'm actually planning on making a no-hit tutorial soon with the iron balls. Apparently, people are, would be really interested in that, so I think I'll do it. Um, <laughs> Replace the fights with perfect kills, yeah. But yeah, I was, um, for a while, I was hesitant on making tutorials for no hitting the game until I was pretty sure that they weren't going to patch anymore. But, but like, why? Right? I just didn't want to do it because I didn't want to have to update a bunch of times. But I think it's a good idea. If people want it now and the, the worst scenario is I have to make an updated tutorial, which people will want to see again, like, there's no issue with that. So, of how a tarnished Iron Balls no hit <laughs> day before it gets patched. Yeah, imagine that, dude. But yeah, GG, guys. Um, nice. Sorceries are insanely OP, but I just, I made that look harder than it is, I think. No, I haven't actually looked at it yet, Matt, but I'm very interested interested to see that because, uh, yeah, that'll be a really good thing to include. I'm so interested to see how long this run was, dude. Let's see how long it was. This is almost undoubtedly the longest any percent I've done in my life. Oh, 254, man. Jesus, that's long. But I also did take like a break and I didn't really know the setup so well. Did I check it out right now? I did see it was like 25 pages. Man, this is actually wild. This is some good shit here, dude. I'm sorry if your eyes... Hopefully you're on, on dark mode or something. Damn, this will be really... Like, people will definitely appreciate this... Uh, when I make the tutorial. Like, this is really good stuff right here. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, Pinata did this. This is great, dude. Now, of course, you know, it, this is something that would go along with the video. But this is great, dude. <laughs> I'm usually more scared of Godric than Margit. That is true. Wow, this is awesome. That's great. I think people will really like that. Because then they can just they can just use those notes instead of having to write their own or something. Awesome, dude. Alright, GG. Another rundown, you guys. 36 out of 40. Even though the bet doesn't mean anything at this point, but... How's the snow? Um, it's fine, I guess, if you like snow. Level 94. Oh, this... Oh, 92. I guess we didn't really get that many extra levels, despite killing a lot of extra bosses on that. Uh, the bet doesn't matter, because I'm doing the God Run 3 anyways, so... But that was fun, man. I, I definitely would suggest if you guys want to try out the bubbles. It's uh they're really fun to play around with, I think. Especially with those with those kills on some of the bosses, man. It's pretty wild. It's just it's such a shame that I messed up so many things. Especially that Malekith, because that that's a really cool kill with the bubbles. Because basically what's supposed to happen is four bubbles is a poise break on him. So you get three off on the phase one and then the poise damage obviously carries over and then you hit him with that bubble and he stuns and then you just, uh, 
Yeah, and then and then you just slice her into death, and it's just a totally free fight. But of course, I botched it, made it as hard as possible on myself. So, of course. All right. Well, I'm actually I wasn't planning on streaming for that long today, you guys. Um, we might call it here, dude. I think. So. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, because I streamed for 14 hours yesterday, you guys. So, I mean, you got to give me a break here. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for hanging out, you guys. Another run. Another day, another run, dude. That was really fun. That was awesome. Again, I'm just, I, I'm a little upset that I messed up some strats, but. Five day break. What do you talk? What does that mean? <laughs> five day break. Anything special for run 40? Um, I don't think so. We're just going to do whatever is requested there. Oh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, the incantation run... Oh, I, I guess if people missed it, I uploaded the... Uh, uh, what's it? What the? Oh, yeah, the Sanctum Mace run from DS2 on YouTube. So you can go check that out if you want to see it. It's a mace that poisons you every time you swing it. So it was pretty... It was actually pretty challenging. It was, it was more challenging than I thought. And then, yeah, on, on Saturday... This Saturday, if people missed it, the incantation run's going to be going up on YouTube, too. Um... So that, that one was really awesome, dude. That one was really cool. So if you missed that, that's up there too. Um, who should we raid, dude? 